Well, hey, boys and girls. Good to see you all again, my wonderful flute players. We're gonna have some fun today again. It's Mrs. Hicks, your music teacher. Today's my second lesson, and you boys and girls are looking at this flute thinking, oh my gosh, this is a complicated looking thing. My last lesson, I showed you boys and girls how to assemble the flute safely, and I'll talk about that for a sec. Today's lesson is all gonna be about how do I make a sound? How do I make a sound out of this thing? Okay, so first what I'm gonna do, what you do is you get your head joint all by itself. Don't bother putting it all together at first, you just have your head joint. Now I'm gonna show you a picture of how your lips are supposed to look like. So again, I am so technologically good that I am just gonna do it like this. I use this on my music stand when I teach flute students at my house. Um, I have a picture of this that I got out of a book. All right, super important. Look at the shape of those lips. Do you see how that bottom lip is just laying down like a wet dog, just across the head joint? And the hole is centered. The shape of your mouth is called the aperture. So you're gonna hear that word sometimes, aperture. And when I say the aperture of your mouth, I mean the shape of your mouth. Do you see how the mouth is so relaxed? It looks like almost like the mouth is just closed and then there's just a little opening in the center and you're blowing across. So take a mental picture of that shape of the lip, of that aperture. That's the shape that is really wonderful to make a really good, strong, proper sound. So let's talk about it. All righty. Okay, I remember when I started playing flute, I was in seventh grade because we didn't have fifth and sixth grade band. And, um, you know, I remember having a little tough time at first making a sound. So what you do, and I'll tell you about what to do and what not to do. So here's the hole. What you do is you just place your lip, your lower lip, right there. And I'm closing my mouth, look, closing my mouth. You see how my mouth is just relaxed across. Now I'm gonna make a sound, look at the shape of my lip. Did you see how the shape of my lip didn't really change? I'm just like this. Everybody just try that. Just relax your lips and you're going and you are blowing out this way. You're blowing across. So again, when you put the lip plate up to your lip, you want to feel your lower lip. You want to feel the edge beneath the lower lip and look in the mirror. Looking in the mirror is the best way to do this. Look in the mirror and you want the lower lip, the red part, to be relaxed across the hole about a quarter inch or so, about a, yeah, about a quarter, a quarter of the way, I mean. And so when I blow, again, I'm like, you blow across, you blow across the hole because it's the far edge that is splitting the air. What a lot of kids do is they go like this, they put it up to the mouth and number one, they put it maybe too high or too low. You want it just beneath the red part of your lip. And here's what we don't do. Like, oh, I'm gonna blow into this. And the hole is down there, they go like this. Did you see how that just ruined the shape of the lip? I'm going. So don't even think for a second that you are blowing down, down that way. It really isn't. You're blowing across the hole so that that far edge is what's splitting the air and just relax your lips. It's all about being relaxed. You shouldn't feel all these muscles, the cheek muscles or anything like that. It should be like loosey goosey when you're blowing. And sometimes uh, I've had students come to me and they haven't, they weren't able to make a sound forever. And then I tell them blow faster air. So if you put it to your mouth, and you're not blowing fast enough, it's like, they're going like this. And then I tell them, 
pretend you're mad at your sister or your brother or something like that. And they go like this. Okay. Blow faster air. So if the air is too slow, it's not going to happen. So again, relax that mouth. Looks like it's closed all the way. And then... Look at yourself in the mirror for sure when you're doing it. Do it in the bathroom, whatever. And just look at what your lips are doing. Make sure you're not suddenly changing. You're not going like this. Like you're relaxed and you go. It's not like that. It's just. And also when you are looking in the mirror, make sure that when your lip is extended across the hole about a quarter of the way, uh, try not to be able to see the inner edge of the metal. I will go over that again for sure another time when I'm going to talk about how to make an even better sound. But right now, your teachers are just thrilled that you can make a sound. And that's so important. So again, chill out, relax, close your mouth, put it right under the red part of the lip. Make sure you feel the edge beneath Okay, and then close your mouth, bring the corners back maybe just slightly, and then blow across with fast enough air. And I swear, you will get it after a while. Now, let's put the flute together real quick. And remember when I showed you in the last lesson how to do it safely, take my head joint, and then I pick up the body, and I'm holding it around the neck so that you're not twisting any of the keys. And then I gently twist my head joint in like so. Okay. And then I take my foot joint and remember that little trick where I go like this. All right. And you press it down. It's okay to do that. And then I gently twist my foot joint on until this bar over here, hopefully you can see it, that's lined up towards the center of the key. And I'm gonna go over this, uh, uh, on my next lesson is gonna be about how to hold it, but it's really important to have that bar uh, pointed to the center of the key, because if it's back too far, it's gonna bring your hand way back when you are trying to put your pinky on. So anyway, there's that. And remember, I told you about this business. Close your eye. Look down the top of the flute all the way down to the end where you can see the hole, okay? And just make sure that, try to make it lined up. So, got that lined up. And again, at first you're making a sound. So just hold it like this, just for now, so that you're used to this, okay? Put it up to your lip. Feel the edge. Relax your mouth. Put your corners back slightly. Try to make a sound. It's basically a C sharp is what that is playing. And if you play faster, right now, both are absolutely just fine. Again, make sure that you are blowing fast enough air. Relax the mouth. Look at yourself in the mirror when you're making your sound. If you look at yourself and you suddenly go, or keep, you change your lips as soon as you start blowing into it, stop. Relax, fix it. Keep your mouth still. And you'll get it after a while. Have patience. This is so worth it. It's such a gorgeous instrument. You're going to love it. All right, now I have three dogs in here. And let's see if I can make one of them my Napoleon. He howls. I'll try to end every lesson with him howling. He's over there. Here we go. He almost started. Pull in. It works every time. All right. Boys and girls, have patience you will be rewarded i'm telling you now if if uh you would like to talk to me in person or through facetime 
uh, you can get in touch with me through your band teacher. They know how to get a hold of me. And um, you know what? I just want all of you to succeed and have fun with this. And have fun. My next lesson is going to be how to hold it. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.